So it seems like there's not a function to save a channel strip setting. So what you must do is create a template of all the channel strip settings you want to save. Here we have channel strips for two different vocals. Also notice that we have a reverb bus and both vocals are being sent to that reverb bus. All right, so let's go ahead and open up a different session. This session is where we will import our channel strip settings too. SMH News. God damn it. What are you shaking your head at? All right, so we want to import our channel strip settings from the template into this session. So we go to file, import, then session data, or you can hit shift alt then I. Double click the template. Open that up. Okay, now we're gonna focus on this window down here. So those are the tracks that are in your template. And what you wanna do is you wanna match the tracks from your template to the tracks that you want the settings to go to. In this case, for the reverb, we're just gonna make a new aux track. So these options here are the different types of data that we can import from the source tracks. So we definitely want to have plugin assignments and plugin settings and automation clicked. If you have any aux channels that you wanna copy, then be sure to have input assignments and send output assignments also clicked. Also be sure to not import anything from the main playlist. Okay, now you see that our plugins just got loaded up and you also see that a new aux track has been created for the Vox Reverb. You see how all of the settings of the plugins are the same as what was in the template. All right, now let's take a listen. SMH News. God damn it. What are you shaking your head at? Cool. Last thing I want to show you. Notice how a new bus routing was created for the imported aux channel. Pro Tools doesn't overwrite or use up an open bus routing, it creates a new one for you. 